Last week, I said my plan is to buy US dollar. So I'm now selling Euro against the US dollar in profit. And I'm confident that I will make more money out of it. So stay tuned. I'll share my best Forex and commodity plan for next week. Thank you. Okay, let's start off with the dollar index. Last week, I said it's very important that we find support at 103. So we did find support on Friday and bang on on the monthly pivot area. I think price are likely to go back to phase one to uh, this area. So at least to uh, take some profit around this area. And then 105 would be another area that I would uh, look to uh, take second profit. Another thing that I like to show you is the seasonal data. So this is my uh, good friends market makeclear.com. They provide commitment of traders data. Another one that easier to understand is the seasonal behavior on the instrument. US dollar, you can see I have two different lines in here. The orange line is the 20 years data and then the purple line is pre-election data. Pre-election because we are pre-election year. Next year is the election year in the US. So let's have a look at the June behavior. You can see from middle of June, we tend to pop a bit higher before we move lower in July. So, and price action we already saw is at support. That's why I am a bit aggressive to uh, buy US dollar. Let me show you how I enter Euro dollar. Okay, daily chart first. Let's have a look at the monthly pivot. So it's still a bit below. I said, you know, close to the 108 area last week, I will look to be a seller. On Thursday, we had a big push higher. And then I dropped down to an hourly. What I've done is uh, I know there's a spike up there, but in the morning I saw a double top formation here, this area. So I just took the breakout. Okay, so it did break out, come back, sometimes it fluffed around. And now price is moving lower. I would like to see price continue to break lower. Okay, maybe range a little bit tomorrow and then break lower. But my first target would be at here, the last swing low. So around 4,000 pounds that I would make. And I'll leave some running to the ultimate target around the 105 area. Okay, so a grand that. So if that profit turn out will be about 12,000 profit, not bad race, but I'm managing the trade. Hopefully you guys watched my video last week and managed to get into that as well. If you haven't, let me know what kind of help do you need uh, for you to capture the future trade. Thank you. So, other things that I'm, is on my list is uh, pound is not because I don't really like the, the price action here. Aussie as well, the daily price action is not so clean. Kiwi is not so clean. So maybe Kiwi may be a bit cleaner actually looking at it. Yeah, okay. Yeah, all right. Uh, Kiwi, yes, it's back to these um, monthly pivot. Yeah, I believe. Yes. So sh if you drop down to hourly, uh, aggressive if you would like to see a range in this area on Monday Tuesday you know like a double top in an hour take a breakout through there take some profit here wouldn't be bad you know so Kiwi could be on the list but I'm already on euro dollar so I'm not gonna be aggressive on that I like to see uh, dollar cat find support now and uh, continue to break a bit higher so but this is more range trading new trend in here so back to this area you know but just use that as a reference for my advantage on euro dollar so i like to see dollar gain against the canadian also dollar swiss although i'm not a big swissy trader but you can see bang on we have a support and resistant area here and a monthly pivot so i'd like to see price continue to uh go back to phase one maybe to about the r1 area so I'd use that as a reference for uh, managing my trade on euro dollar Dollar yen was on my list, but the price action is just not allowing me to uh, take any trade. So maybe when it's above this trend line area, I'll look to be a buyer of dollar yen. Okay. Now the last one that I like to show you is gold and silver. First, I probably will show you gold. Uh, no change the plan if price can break below this uh, 1930 area. I'll look for a retest to short it maybe to around 1,800. Uh, silver uh, was showing a bit of strength, but you know, on Friday and then the first day, Friday now we've got our potential head and shoulder. So below this 24, 20 area, I could be a seller, but not top of my list because I'm already a euro dollar, all right. 
So that's all for me this week. I continue want to be a dollar buyer, zero dollar would my add on a bit. Uh, if not, silver is the list and gold is the list to short as well. If you have any question, let me know. Otherwise, thanks so much for watching and see you guys next week.